<sighs> this is one of the reasons why I'm spiritually detached from the opposite sex. I just don't really quite understand or the the consistency of spitting game to women and I just thought it was just pretty awkward the social awkwardness and what you gotta say in order to get under, under a woman's skin blah 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 I always like I always been like red pill since my preteen years of course but I'm just tired of just saying, though, there's other fish in the sea. Let women come naturally to me and blah, blah, blah. And all this fucking bullshit. I don't care. Like, I'm just tired of being nice. I'm tired of like holding door for women. Now I'm about to slam the door against their face. Now I'm just playing. I don't want to do that. But... No, I really, like, for real, for real. Like, I never took women so seriously as far as, like, spinning game is concerned. Because every time I try to talk to a woman, if they have, like, an interesting, if they're interested in me, then they just turn away and don't want to talk to me. I don't really understand that. Like, if you like me, at least, like, tell the truth. Or say something I can't be your spokesperson wait like if like you find me interesting then like okay do you like have any more further comments you have to say about me or when I'm just gonna tend to shy away from the comment session and then just don't want to say anything positive it's all going to be negative or insecurity. Because I'm deleting freaking comments are just weird. Fuck all that. But. Um, for real, for real. Like, it's just all narcissism based. It's all acceptance until somebody gets hurt. It really is. You women accept men who just dog you out and then just like leave you hanging. I got really, I got abundance and numerous proof that I know women are like that. And they just like being toxic and moody, being a single mom. No one take care of their freaking kids. They'd rather be with uh, Chad and Tyrone or Suavez or Joker Jed, whatever the fuck. So, <laughs> like, you're the one getting dogged out. Like, I don't know. I feel like I've been, like, blacked out or deleted from the black community because of this. But, hey, to each his own. It wants to be, like, tolerated by a bunch of nothing, spiritless, uh, self-sufficient oh my god it's toxic women like I don't quite understand Ugh. yep I'm just outside going for fresh air I don't know, man. Like, I always just go into my self conscious whenever I, after I talk to a woman and get her number. And you want a man that's honest, but after that, it goes out the window. Like, once you have intercourse with him, just left you hanging high and dry. Shit like a used condom. Uh, it's not my fault. Really, it's not. Ah, really. I'm happy that I'm just pure. I'm literally pure. I just, I don't know. It's funny. I felt Marlon Wayne's pain, though. I was watching a comedy, and basically, 
he was actually trying to date, uh, trying to get into Jay Pinkett Smith, and like, she was really intellectual for a woman until she got off with like Will Smith and uh, his homo antics, but that's another story. But basically, I feel it kind of reminded me of me because I played music, you know, with a woman and they play music back and it's kind of like rejection music or kind of like like audibly like for your ears it's kind of like friction or don't really want you but it is what it is but oh no i take things to heart when i get rejected but that's in the past i'm 30 years old I'm enjoying the freaking breeze, like I said. You know. Like, I don't know. Like, women are just, like, changing. Like, they do have, like, a Mr. Or I should say Miss Jekyll, Mrs. High mentality. Put it that way. But, I don't know. Like, I can't, like, deal with your narcissism at all. Like, this is why I just feel icky and just, like, kind of, like, cringe when I speak game to a woman. It's like, it's not in me. It wasn't never in me, even while I was in my preteens. But I find it funny, really, really funny that women are just going to selective outrage, keyword selective, to, like, target like men that didn't really did nothing to you or have no not even a, a simple scenario where that we actually just have a conversation with you. like women like people are just like have like women just have like mental health issues especially black women it's like they can't sit down for for fucking 30 seconds they want validation they keep picking up like silicone and putting their freaking butts and shit like I don't know what's going on like they're just like really bad ticking time bombs or ticks and fleas jumping on another dog, if you will. I don't know, like, I, that's why I'm not really a people person anymore. I find it dumb, I find it lame. I find it way too simplistic and people are just gullible out here, like... They want to have like selective conversations with boring people. Yeah, I said it, boring people. <coughs> like, I don't know what to say to a woman. I don't know what y'all want me to say. Like, why don't you just have a natural ass conversation? Like, I don't know. I don't speak in code. Like, I'm just foreign to the game. Well, the game that is actually extinct, that is. So. Uh, it's just pointless. Like, spitting game is pointless. And I feel like it's a really bad extinction, well, I'm, which I'm glad. Like, men do their darn hardest just to get yeah, somebody's girl's pants. It's not that freaking. Oh no. It's not that serious. And one thing about it is, I don't like people just waving their relationship right in front of me. Once y'all do that, it's pretty much sooner or later that relationship will end. Discontinued. So, 
all mind looking at unattractive comments or ugly statements there on my video. Ugh, man. So yeah. Women are afraid of confrontation. They really are. So if I cheat, you have every right to put your hands on me or just go to my throat. But if you cheat on me, then you dismiss everything, you just walk away. But I'm not gonna confront. I'm not gonna do the confrontation. You go ahead and do that. You gotta face it with the Lord. Oh, I forgot. You don't read the Bible. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, these so called women, like, eh, like the romance is like pretty weak, pretty theatrical, well played out, and orchestrated. Like, I, it's like, uh, what is the point of falling in love? I'd rather, uh, yeah, I don't really want to toss a really toxic woman, give me a Valentine's Day gift. I'd rather burn it right in front of her with a lighter. That's all I care. Oh, man. But, oh, no. Like, I don't know, I just, I just hate the sipping. I really do. Yeah, I just, like, call off everything, just call off my kindness, and call off my, not my joy, but it just call off my kindness when it comes off, comes to women, it just, the, the cherish and the, the lack of embrace, it wasn't really there. Yeah, because you let feminism go to your head and just ruin everything. That's why he shoves like vibrators up your ass and dislike nice guys like me. But I um, forgot. I can't really say, say the N word. What's with me saying the N word? Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's real derogatory in women's ears, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh oh, it is like socially de derogatory to say nice. Uh yeah. But the only thing I can really talk to is my closest friends and animals. I know it's weird, but I talk to animals too. Kind of like the male version of like the wild thorn bears, if you will. Uh, yeah, that's where I really talk to nature. I'm not really a people's person anymore because assholes like Jay Biden wants to shove drugs in the communities and stuff. So uh, enough of all that said, why well, I'm going on a tangent. I'm Blind Assassin. Nick Tao, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Amen.